Hello, hello, hello. My name is Yvette and this is my husband David. We'd like to welcome you to our channel, The Common Sense Student, where our tagline is learn it, become it, share it. Do us a favor and press that like button. And also feel free to leave a comment. But most importantly, we hope that you'd be encouraged to become a Common Sense Student by subscribing to our channel. So today guys, we'll be doing the first part of a two-part series and the topic is, where is your peace of mind? So where is your peace of mind? Did you wager it for success or so-called happiness? Or did you allow someone to take it from you? Or maybe you didn't have it to begin with? As we all know, there are many precious things in this life. And I think that it can be argued, your peace of mind is the most precious of them all. It doesn't matter your accomplishments or your accolades because without peace of mind, you have nothing. And that's so true because every day we hear stories about people with notoriety, wealth and every imaginary success who are battling all sorts of psychological problems, alcoholism or opioid depend dependencies. They are the benchmark for the tormented souls, the desolate examples of non-existent happiness who all wish they could buy peace of mind. So let's discuss. What is peace of mind? It's an idiomatic expression that's been around for centuries. It's exactly what it says. Peace within your mind. It's a mental, a mental state that denotes freedom from anxiety, worry, and stress. It's a priceless currency for happiness, joy, fulfillment, and the overall successes in life. Yes, peace of mind affects every aspect of our, aspect of our life. As a matter of fact, it's a primary ingredient in all our successful endeavors. And it gives us the ability to focus and maintain concentration on whatever task is at, is at hand. And also, we derive it in several different ways, some of which are feeling safe and protected, having good relationships, good loving relationships, good health, and stable finances, etc. How we lost our peace of mind. Our personal quote is, a minute of peace of mind that's lost is a minute that's a minute of your life that is wasted. We all lost our peace of mind in different ways, but generally by the same principles. We also lost our peace of mind at different stages of our lives. Yes, that's true. And I can um, testify to that personally. I've always been uh, an overthinker, a person that's very extremely pensive. I think about things deeply and things affect me deeply also. And it has always been this way since I was a child. And I am sure you possibly can relate. And so I grew up in an environment that was not very emotionally healthy. And uh, so things, negative things in the environment, negative things in our household um, caused me stress. And so I deliberated on these things, I overthought them. And eventually, in my early teens, I developed acid reflux disease. I went to the doctor several times. There was no solution more than medication or medicine and eventually as time went by my situation became worse where I gave up even more of my peace of mind and uh, I developed high blood pressure. All the tests came back that nothing was physically wrong with me. My problem was stress although the doctors believed that I needed to be medicated and so today I want to implore you to take heed of this message that we are trying to deliver to you that your peace of mind is extremely precious and don't be like me I'm a living example of a person who have suffered because of this and so I hope that today your message would be meaningful and that you possibly can relate to whatever we have to say in this video so please join us for part two the conclusion of this series where is your peace of mind until then, guys, have a good day, and we'll see you next time.